Hi, I'm Sarah with Core Motion Fitness, and today I have a 30 minute core stability class for you. All you need is a dumbbell and your mat. So we're gonna go ahead and get warmed up and get right into the workout this morning. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and take your feet wide, arms reaching out to the side. Let's go ahead and lift our arms up tall, and we're gonna hinge forward at our hips. So hinge at our hips, take a nice stretch, and bend those knees, roll yourself all the way up, and open through the front of your body. Let's do that again. Good, arms open, hinge at the hips, and bend both knees, roll yourself up, big stretch at the top, and hold. From here, just a couple of side bends, <clears throat> waking up through the midsection. Very nice. And let's go ahead and take a couple slight rotations here. Just nice and easy, feeling your rib cage move side to side. Knees point forward. And relax. All right, we're gonna go right down onto the ground. So come onto your hands and knees to begin with. And we're gonna start with some plank stabilization or some core stabilization. We're gonna do that by doing some isometric holds. So you can either do this on your knees or if you'd like, you can go onto your toes. It's completely up to you. So we have our 30 second plank hold right here. So draw the abdominals in tight and begin. Now the thing to focus on right now is that there's no spine movement at all. We're engaging our core muscles without moving our spine. So this is a really safe place to work from. All right, continue holding. If you are on your knees, just make sure your hips are tucked under, your back is nice and flat, and you're engaging your abdominals. Almost there, you've got five seconds left. Very nice. And sit back into a child's pose and stretch. Continuing with our isometric holds, we're gonna move into a side plank. So rotating over onto one side, elbow to the ground. You can start with your knee on the ground if you'd like to, or go up into a full side plank with your feet stacked or staggered. Good, we've got 30 seconds on the clock, so go ahead and lift your arm up nice and tall. Feel your abdominals pull in tight. Once again, no spine movement going on, and hold. Great job, keep going. <clears throat> Just 10 seconds more, you've got this. And what we do on one side, you know we're gonna go ahead and do on the other side. So lower your hips to the ground, bring your knees into your body, take that arm that was on the ground, stretch it up and over, releasing your obliques, and we will target that side plank on the other side as well. So flip yourself end to end, and set yourself up with an elbow underneath the shoulder, and begin right now. So these are just some really basic exercises to get you going. It's always important to stabilize the core first before you move into um, anti-rotation and rotational movements, which is what you're gonna see here throughout this 30 minute workout. Good, keep holding. You're gonna lift those hips a little bit higher. Stack them on top of each other. Almost there. And your time is up. Lower your hips to the ground and bring your knees in and take that arm up and over. Great job. Now we're gonna turn ourselves to the ground <clears throat> into a prone position. We're gonna take our elbows right in front of our shoulders, our noses to the ground. We're gonna feel a slight tuck of our tailbone. We're gonna roll our chin up off of the mat and we're gonna hold in an isometric cobra. So the focus here is belly button pulling up to the spine, squeezing through your glutes and <clears throat> nice engagement through our upper back. So hold here, looking right out past the end of your mat. Again, we're working on stabilizing the spine, engaging our core muscles. there you just got five seconds left keep holding and relax all 
All right, go face down to the ground. On this next exercise, you're going to need your dumbbell. So if you'd like to go ahead and grab a dumbbell if you don't have one available to you, then you're welcome to just use your arm. <clears throat> All right, so next up, we are going to take our weight right above our chest. Our legs start above our hips, okay? Legs are together. We're gonna bring our legs and arms away from each other, hold, drawing the belly button down, and then bring them all the way back up to meet each other. Now you have the option if you want to, to bend both knees instead of doing this with a long lever. So it's completely up to you what you prefer. <clears throat> arms up, ready, and we're gonna hold. Three, two, one, and then bring it right back up and continue. So while you're in that holding position, Again, you're feeling the abdominals pulled down. Your weight's not going past your eyebrows or past the middle of your head, really. And make sure you're getting that hold every single time that the weight and arms go away from each other. Nice work, nice work. Let's do this one more time. And release, very good job. Bring the weight down. Place your feet on the ground, and we're going to finish this up with a hip bridge. So very simple. We're just going to tuck our hips, roll up, trying not to arch our back at all in this position, but keep a nice solid spine, okay, resting on the back of your shoulders and holding. You've got a 30 second hold. It's hard with a ponytail. You do want to have your neck relaxed, okay, and a nice curve in your neck. Now think about your glutes, think about your abdominals pulling tight, resting lightly on your shoulders, not on your neck. And release, bring your knees into your body. All right, we are warmed up, we are stabilized, we are ready to go into some anti-rotation. So this next phase <clears throat> is all about preventing spinal rotation, okay? So this has a really great tool. It helps with um, acceleration, with deceleration in your daily movements. We all have those experiences all the time. And so we need to be able to prevent our spine from rotating in those quick moments. All right, so to begin with, we're gonna use our dumbbell, work one side at a time. This is a renegade row. So hands underneath your shoulders, one hand will be on the weight. And again, this is not a shoulder or back exercise. This is like core stabilization. So we're gonna bring the weight up and then set it back down. Now, if you feel that your opposite foot comes off the ground when you do that, which is completely normal, then try it from a tucked position on your knees, okay? You'll have a little bit more control that way if you need to. So one side only, and then we're gonna move into another single side exercise. All right, <clears throat> 30 seconds on the clock. So try it on your toes if you can, ready, set, and begin. We hold it up. Again, we're trying to prevent the spine from rotating. So that means we're also preventing our hips from rotating. Good. Belly button and hips pointing right toward the mat. It's a lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Keep coming. Do everything you can to keep everything pointed toward the ground. Nice job, almost there. And we've got one more time. Pull it up, hold and release, good job. Set your hips back and stretch out. I like to rotate my wrists after doing those planks with one hand on the ground, so go ahead and do that if you need to. And we're gonna roll over. So the arm that had the weight, okay, the what's moving the weight, is also gonna be the arm that has the weight in this next move. We're gonna lift our body, I'm sorry, lower our body down, lift our arm up, okay? We're gonna lock our shoulder to the ground. Now we're gonna move into a dead bug with one arm raised, and you're gonna feel that your core has to stabilize so it's not rocking side to side. All right, so opposite hand on the ground, whichever arm is up, that's which leg is moving. So we're gonna move that leg away and then bring it right back in. Let's go ahead and begin, 30 seconds. Good job, now you're gonna feel how this side that has the weight really has to pull down and anchor to the ground. Good, let's go ahead and do three more right here.
and last one. And relax, bring your weight and your feet down, put the weight off to the side, and let's go ahead and roll over and go back into our plank on the other side. <clears throat> so transition your weight to your other hand, get ready for those renegade rows again, feet walk back, and let's begin right now. So pull up, again, no twisting in the spine. This is what it looks like to twist in the spine, where we do this kind of action right here. So we're trying to control the rotation. Again, a lot harder than it looks, especially on your toes. So if you need to be on your knees, great option. Keep going, you're almost there. And one more time. Let's lift it up, hold, and set that weight down, and sit back, and again, take a stretch. Rotate the wrists, give them a little breather, and we'll go back into that same move. Whichever hand had the weight, you're gonna flip over and put the weight in that same hand. <clears throat> so lying on your back, knees bent, we'll lift our weight up, we're gonna anchor our shoulder down, and the same moving leg as your arm that's lifted. Ready, set, and, I'm oh, sorry, begin. Great job. So really feel the abdominals pull your knee back into that starting position. And let's go ahead and get one more rep in right here. And really good job. Bring the weight down, bring your feet down. And we're gonna stay with our um, feet on the ground in a hip bridge um, for our next anti-rotation exercise. So the key here with this one, when we bring our hips up, we're gonna extend one leg out at a time. We're gonna try to keep our hips from wobbling side to side in that position. So take it real slow, go at your own pace, <clears throat> hands by your side. We're gonna tuck our tailbone, roll our hips up off the ground, hold here, okay, and your next movement is to shift the body weight ever so slightly, kick your leg out, pull it back in without the hips dropping or rotating side to side. All right, let's go ahead and begin. You've got 30 seconds on the clock, and kick and extend, and then set down. We also wanna prevent an over um, extended arch in our back. Okay, so that looks like this. We wanna just be nice and neutral in our spine. strong push out in front of you great work keep it coming keep your hips lifted high you can do it and one more time right here exhale and release good hug your knees towards your body and then just rock side to side. Very good. All right, we have one more round, and then we're gonna repeat everything from the top. So let's go ahead and move into our rotation, which is now gonna think about power. So the power is coming from your hips, okay? It's not coming from your low back. <clears throat> it's not coming from your mid back. It's coming from your hips. All right, so rotation is all about the core and the hips working together to increase power in your movement. So we're gonna come to our standing position. Um, to begin with, take your dumbbell, <clears throat> feet are hip distance apart. Now what I want you to think about is when you move your weight to the side, you're going to pivot on your toe and your hips are also going to move at the same time. So there's that hip and core rotation happening um, for power. So our weight is going to be out in front of us, okay, feet are about hip distance, well maybe a little bit wider, and we're going to drop this weight over to our right side while our left foot pivots. So it looks like this, pivot to the side and then back to the center, pivot, and then back to the center, all right? So 30 seconds on the clock, think about engaging your obliques as you twist, get ready, get set, and go. And drop. Good, weight always comes right back to the belly button area. And again, hips and core work together. Nice 
Nice job. Making sure that you're picking up that heel to rotate side to side. And one more on each side. Good job. And done. Good. Set that weight down for a moment. Roll your shoulders back in place. And then maybe take a few gentle rotations through the trunk right here. All right. This next one is a rotate with a reach. Okay. So again, using the dumbbell, here's what it looks like. We're going to rotate all the way through and push to the side. Notice how my back foot rotates. Okay. It pivots on the toes. We come back to the center and we push to the other side. So it's less of a drop, more of a push on this one. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, ready? Bring the weight right through the midsection and set. Let's begin and push. So there's a hold as you're pushing. Now you're also wanna think about your front knee, okay? We're keeping it in line with our toes, trying not to extend it over the side of our foot. Good work. And I'm just working with a 10 pound weight here. You could do five pounds. If you have feel a little more strength in your body this morning, you can also do 15. It's completely up to you. And one more on each side. And you are done. Good, set that weight down for a minute. Once again, rotate side to side. Give yourself a little stretch. Nice job. All right, we're gonna bring ourselves back down to the mat and go into a plank down dog and reach through. So walk yourself down into a plank position. <clears throat> what this looks like, we're gonna shift our hips back. As we shift our hips back, we're gonna rotate and reach across our body toward our opposite leg and then shift back into a plank position. Good, so a little rotation happening in the hips, but also core moving with it. 30 seconds on the clock and get ready, get set. Let's begin, reach. And again, hold that reach a little longer than you think you want to. You're doing great. Let's go ahead and do one more on each side right here. And again, we're not just tapping, we're rotating, reaching across. And release. Sit back into a child's pose. Again, pick up your hands, rotate your wrists around. Should be feeling pretty warm at this point and ready to hit it harder on the second time through. So beginning back on the ground with our plank, with our isometric hold. I'm gonna do this one on my elbows this time just to give my wrists a little bit of a break. So if you wanna do that too, you're welcome too. All right, right back into our 30 second isometric plank hold. So hold onto it, look forward. Breaks are gonna be a lot shorter. We're just gonna roll right on through this. Again, knees, hips tucked, great option to modify. And you've got just five seconds longer. Three, two, one, quick change. Drop to the knees, roll yourself over into your side plank. Come up into a position that fits your body and its needs and stack your hips and let's hold. So I always like to think about exhaling deep down into my abdominals whenever I'm doing these isometric holds. Really helps me with the muscle engagement. Very good, almost there. Just five seconds longer and release. Bring your hips down, flip over to the other side. Again, we're just moving right along. We're not gonna take a lot of time in between. So bring yourself back up and hold. And just think about the first round as an intro round and this round as the real working round where you can really engage every single muscle group that we're working through. Good, holding. Lift your hips a little higher, you've got this. We've got eight seconds left. And release your hips down to the ground. Very good, roll yourself over onto your front side. And we go next into that cobra hold. So elbows in front of shoulders, hips tucked. So if you, if the untucking of the hips is where the low back is arching and you really feel a lot of pressure up your hips on the ground. So tuck, 
So you feel that pubic bone kind of pushing towards the mat and belly button pull to the spine. Let's hold here and look right out past our fingertips. Again, there should not be a lot of pressure in the back, but it's the abdominals pulling toward the back. Great job, you've got eight seconds left. And release, good job. All right, we're gonna roll over onto our back and now we have that extension with the dumbbells. So legs and arms moving away from each other, 30 seconds. Legs are straight, arms are straight. And we move and we hold back three counts, ready? Three, two, one, and hold, and then bring it back in. Let's do it again. Good job, and if you feel the low back start to arch off the mat, then that's your stopping point for where your legs go. Nice job, nice job, keep coming. And you've got one more time, let's go and release good job set your feet down weight goes to the ground we're going to finish up this isometric hold with our hip bridge so tuck the tailbone squeezing through your glutes lift your hips up off of the mat and hold here All right, just eight more seconds. Can you squeeze your butt? We're not lifting higher. We're just pressing deeper into our heels. And release, good job. Hug, hug your knees into your body and moving into the anti-rotation. So we start this one with our renegade row. So roll over into your plank position. Grab a hold of one dumbbell here. Hands underneath the shoulders, one side at a time, looking straight out in front of you, ready. That and pull that weight off the ground and hold and slowly release. Good, we're not slamming the weight to the ground. Great job. Again, think about that body. Don't let it rock, don't let it lean, don't let it twist in the hips. One more time and release. Good job. Sit back. Okay, again, same arm moving. <clears throat> or same arm has the weight. Flip yourself over, grab a hold of your weight, and lift your arm, lock your shoulder. Again, same leg that the weight is on, and it's moving down toward the ground. Good, we've got two more nice long extensions in that leg. And here's your last one. And release, everything comes down and roll over. Back to the other side for your renegade row. Put the weight in place, hand underneath the shoulder. Walk your feet back for me, please. And look out in front, ready, set, and begin. Pull and release. Try to prevent that opposite foot coming off the ground. Mine wants to every single time, but you have to dig your toes in and rotate the hips towards your mat. Good, one more time, you've got this. Pull it up and release. Whew. Sit back and moving on to our backs. Take your weight with you, whatever hand has it, just keep it there. And let's lift up, shoulder lock down, and begin your leg movement. All right, let's try three more reps. You can do this. And final one right here. Very good. And release. Bring your weight down. You don't need the weight for the next one. We go into our hip bridge next with our leg pushes out in front of us. So hands by your side. 
We're gonna peel our hips up off of the mat. Again, trying to prevent any lower back arch. Okay, pressure in the heels. We shift our weight from side to side and let's begin and hold. And switch to the other side. Great stabilization here in the hips. We're not looking for height, we're just looking for leg extension. And let's do one more on each side. Come on, you've got it. Good, last one. And hips down and hug your knees to your body. We're gonna roll up to standing for our um, rotational exercises. So bring your body up, bring your weight with you when you come and we'll start. <clears throat> this is actually kind of a uh, mimicking a landmine exercise. Okay, normally you would do this with a big weighted bar we're gonna do with our dumbbells. So feet just wider than hips, arms out in front. Remember we pick up our heel and rotate. So we're gonna take it to the right and then center. Let's go to the left. Good, and we wanna find that breaking point right by our hip. We're not letting the weight swing all the way around our body. Good job. Power on the hips and the core. And one more on each side. Very good. And release. Put your weight to the ground. Again, take those little rotations side to side. And now we move into our weight push through. It's a little bit bigger hip movement on this one. <clears throat> All right, so feet are wide. Weight starts kind of close to the body, kind of in that middle range. And we take a big rotation to the right, pivoting on our left toes. So it looks like this. Push, <laughs> find your balance and push. Good. So your front foot doesn't have a lot of movement. Okay, it kind of stays in place and we just rotate towards our knee. Good job. Good, power in the hips. Really use it. That internal rotation in the hips, we need it one more time and push and reset. Put the weight down off your mat and we will finish up with our plank to down dog crossovers. So hands underneath the shoulders, walk back into a plank. All right, we're gonna shift our hips back as we reach across our body. Ready, set, and reach and hold. And one more on each side. Very good. And sit yourself back into a child's pose and stretch. Now to finish off this core series, <clears throat> we are gonna stand up, move through a series of balance work that will also include some stretches. Okay, balance is also a very vital part of core training, but we're gonna use it as our active recovery here at the very end. So bring yourself up to a standing position. Make sure your weight is out of the way. And to begin with, we're just going to lift our right leg off the ground and hold. Now normally you can feel maybe some pressure into that standing leg, but we wanna lift up out of our hips and stay nice and tall right through here. Very good. Cross your leg over. Okay, cross your leg over, hold it right here. A little challenging, I know. Good, and now take both arms up. Good, and feel the lengthening through your core, through your abdominals. And then set that foot down, okay? The foot that's in back, we're gonna tip over to that side. Great job. And unwind your leg, let's lift the other leg up. Find your balance. Good, and then cross your leg over. Soften your knees a little bit, okay? Hold that leg there. Reach both arms up. Again, lengthen your spine, lengthen your abdominals. And set that foot down on the ground. The foot that's in back, we tip our arms up and over to that side. Good. 
Great job. And release, good. I'm gonna turn to the side here. We're gonna take our right foot back behind us and hinge forward at our hips. Okay, so this is the first part, getting your balance down. And then if you can, take your leg off the ground. Now normally we wanna open up like this, but I want you to close your hips up, okay? Fighting the rotation. And then arms reach out in front of you. And we'll open the arms out to the side. This is a great stretch for the back and chest. And then bring your hands back. And stand tall. Let's try it on the other side. Take the legs, have the back hinge at your hips to begin with. Lift your leg off the ground. Arms reach. Open up to the side. Again, try not to rotate the hips. And bring them back. And release. Good job. Take your feet wide. Clasp your hands together. Lift them up. We're going to do a nice big circle here. So bend over to the side. Soften your knees as you do so. Circle yourself all the way down and around. Coming up at the top. Press your hands tall. And let's go in the opposite direction. Soften the knees. Bring yourself down. And all the way back up to the top. And release. And that concludes our 30 minute core class focusing on stability, anti-rotation, and rotation. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon.